been scoring a lot of goals in the reserves and Matt Busby called me up to his office and he said, right, he says, then um, I'm playing you tomorrow in the first team. Words I'd been waiting to hear for, for ages and ages. I'm a professional footballer. I'm played in Man United's first team. Charlton! All mad, you know, like his mother. <laughs> he was always so clean and tidy. Jack was always so scruffy. And the proudest moment was when they both came out of the tunnel at Wembley together. You can't get higher than that, can you? I got really emotional. I, I started thinking about when I was a little lad and I, I used to dream about being a footballer. England are the world champions. The final whistle went and our Jack came to me and he says, well, what about that? In his 85th senior international, Charlton had notched his 45th goal. He was England's all-time top scorer. The Munich air crash. Of the crew of six and 38 passengers, 23 are known to have survived. For him to go on the field and play with the idea in his mind that most of the boys he had played with before were now missing. And I think this was one of his greatest moments. For Busby's miraculous babe, six weeks from a disaster which stunned the footballing world, are determined to reach Wembley or bust. The time of United has been laced with all these great moments, and none more so in my friendship with Bobby and what he's done for me. He was the Busby babe who became a knight of the realm, the incomparable Sir Bobby Charlton.